The achacha tree is a delicious Bolivian tropical fruit from the Garcinia family that is often considered the most delicious fruit there is. We're going to take a look at the achacha tree I planted a year ago and I'll discuss some of the fertilizers that I used. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions. So let's take a look at this beautiful achacha tree I have growing in the side yard of my house. So it's been about a year since I planted this cute little achacha tree in the ground in my side yard here in Modesto, California, Zone 9B. I purchased the tree from a online nursery and it did very well at first. However, during the winter, as often happens with uh, acid-loving tropical fruit trees, the guy got a little bit of chlorosis. Now, there's not a lot of information online about what you should do when your tree, tropical trees, are in a state of chlorosis. It wasn't horrible, but as you can see, it was enough to cause some discoloration of the leaves, and the tree just wouldn't grow. I was getting frustrated, and so I fertilized, and this was probably in May, I fertilized with this. And I do this with a lot of my tropicals. I use organic holly tone, which uh, is an acid loving um, fertilizer and it's organic as I use on most of my sensitive trees. And I consider the achacha tree a sensitive to fertilizer tree and it's sensitive to climate. That is that the climate seems to affect Wow, looks like at one time this thing had a couple fruit on it. See that right there? Anyway, um, so yeah, I use Holly Tone. It's a slow acting fertilizer and it did very well. It's, it started to green up a little bit and then I said, you know, it's got to get going. It's got to get growing. So I used this. I sprayed, mixed it up in a sprayer and I sprayed it and almost immediately the leaves started to turn green. Some of the older leaves didn't, as you can see, but they started to turn green and sent out new growth. Look at this, big old leaves. So just a, a, quick, um, a quick discussion about the weather the, when it comes to this. It, the tree wasn't bothered by our cold weather at all. I mean, other than the fact that it, it, it was chlorosis and I think that the chlorosis has to do with the lack of, uh, of an acid soil so in the future I'm going to use uh, a little bit of sulfur in my soil but other than that it's doing very good and it is putting on new growth uh, spraying it with the chelated iron, chelated iron uh, has been what has caused this thing to send off a new growth flush and greened up the leaves and all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. If you like tropical, growing tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comments section below. I do my best to get back to everybody and their comments. You have a wonderful day.